kickers. <laughs> as, we, as we gather here in this great uh, IBEW Labor Hall uh, from throughout the uh, Gulf Coast uh, region here to build an unabashedly progressive political movement that is of, by, and far the grassroots people of Texas. That's what we're putting together. Our goal is straightforward, is to harness that people power that is out there, even in the red districts, and to, through them, to elect a little democratic government uh, at every level uh, of our state. Uh, and by the way, I'm talking about the, uh, not just, uh, again, in, in, the, in the cities, uh, but out of those rural areas as well. We've had meetings like this already in Dallas uh, and, and Austin, uh, out in Lubbock, uh, had a tremendous turnout. Uh, in Sunday Lubbock. I don't know how many of you knew, but there were 400 people went to the Lubbock airport after the immigration ban. Uh, so we, we don't have to be afraid of red areas because there are plenty of blue and purple people and green people who are out there uh, as, as well. Uh, so we're out to displace that sorry cabal of plutocratic, uh, autocratic, uh, theocratic, Kleptocratic, uh, right wing goofballs now ruling over us in Austin and in Washington and too many uh, local areas as well. As Bernie said, campaigns end on election day. Revolutions don't. But he launched the People's Revolution, and we're here on this day in this place to bring it home and spread it all across our state. I come to you not just from Austin, uh, Texas, but from South Austin. Uh, we have a little different irreverent attitude over there on the south side of the river. Um, and our, our unofficial slogan is, we're all here because we're not all there. <laughs> and that's why I think we've gathered here, because the powers of be are not at all there uh, in grasping the, the fundamental uh, principle of this country, which is we're all in this together. Uh, and instead, uh, the few have decided uh, that they don't have to carry out the many. They'll just take care of the few themselves. So they have been knocking down the middle class and holding down the poor. We've gone from Ronald Reagan's uh, a trickle down economics to the Pope Brothers tinkle down uh, economics in just 30 years' time. Uh, so that's what our revolution is, is taking on. Uh, the powers of being that are running roughshod over us. Uh, in fact, uh, economists have a technical term for what they're doing to us. It's called steaming. <laughs> and that song, What You Got to Have About the Outlaw, Still This World I Travel, I've seen lots of funny men. Some will rob you with a six gun, some with a fountain pen. It's the fountain pens who are doing the serious stealing in our society today. And by the robbers, I'm talking about the downsizers and privatizers, the Walmart wage whackers and the big old frackers, the bosses, bankers, the big shots, bastards, and bullshitters. <laughs> we think we're the top dogs and we're just a bunch of fire hydrants out here in the countryside. Well, as Bernie understood, and as I think we all understand, revolutions don't end on election day, but neither do they just happen. They only happen when good people come together and organize, strategize, harmonize, and mobilize. So that's what today is about. Uh, you know, Bernie, I, I've known Bernie a long time, went up to campaign when he was uh, running for uh, Congress, uh, and uh, we were in Montpelier, the state capitol, and uh, had a rally on the, on the grounds of the capitol there, and then afterwards this guy came up wearing a big old button, biggest one I've ever seen, and the most important one, because he said, wearing a button is not enough. <laughs> we can't be a nation of button wearers, can we? We've got to do a little more than that. Not enough to be progressive. We've been progressive for a long time. But the, the right wing has turned radically regressive. So we've got to get aggressive again. And that's what our revolution in Texas uh, is, is all about. Uh, my message to you is that it, it's up to us. Uh, we're going to work with you. I'm on the board of the National Hour Revolution. It's got Larry uh, uh, Cohen uh, on that. Uh, a former president of the uh, CWA, great union, and a great political organizer. We got uh, Ben Jealous, uh, former head of the NAACP. We got uh, Senator Nina Turner out of Ohio. A good bunch of, of folks uh, are involved on that. And then we've got our Revolution Texas, which is the first state chapter of 
our revolution. Uh, and this state was chosen to be the first because they wanted to go to what is perceived as a red state and show that it's not so red, that in fact we can take power uh, in, as, in a state like this. So we're going to work with you. We've got tools. We've got uh, uh, the ability to help you recruit uh, candidates and other organizations, uh, etc. We've, we've got training on a wide range of things, uh, from how to be a candidate to, uh, to to how to give a speech to a Rotary Club or something like that. Uh, we've got all sorts of training tools available that are going to be available to you. We're going to build a movement that actually moves. It's been a while <laughs> since we've had that, uh, and we're not building a movement just to raise issues, but to run on those issues for political office and run issue campaigns and to win those offices and then uh, to use those offices to implement our agenda. That's what we're about, governing this state, governing at the local level all the way uh, through the governor's office. So my message to you is that it, it, it is up to us if we work together in harmony uh, with our eye clearly on the prize, a lot of diversity in, in our revolution's movement, including right here in this room, all sorts of diversity. Uh, and we need to embrace that. But there are also differences, as there is in any big organization, and we need to pacify those. We need to get over those differences and keep our eye on the prize. You know, they said, well, they, the powers of these abilities. Progressives can never get together. That they're too diverse and uh, dispersed and uh, and screwy. Uh, so uh, so you'll never get. It's like trying to herd cats to get progressives together. Well, I got to tell you something. Anyone who says you cannot herd cats never tried a can opener. <laughs> they will come. <laughs> and our can opener is the revolution the opportunity for people to govern themselves. I guess folks are waiting for that. They're looking for that. They're willing to be involved uh, in that. So we're going to be out there uh, going at them uh, on those uh, issues. I think of our revolution, Texas, our revolution nationally, in terms of a little hardware store near my home in Austin called Harold's Hardware. Great little place. It's not quite as big as this room, even. Uh, but it's a wonderful hardware store. You, you don't have to buy that whole carton of nails. They'll sell you two nails. You know that's what you want. Um, they'll say, "Well, what are you trying to do?" Well, I want to build a uh, lectern. Okay, well let's pencil that out here. See what you need. They'll loan you a power tool. You can take a saw home uh, and bring it back. And the slogan at Harold's Hardware is, "Together we can do it yourself." <laughs> <laughs> and that's going to be our slogan, I think. The cynics and the corporatists and the centrists say, "Oh, you." are so foolish, you can't win. On the other side's got all the money, uh, they got the politicians, uh, and et cetera. But as a friend of mine who's been a pioneer in the organic movement put it to me once, said, Hi, Jeff, those who say it can't be done should not interrupt those who are doing it. And that would be you. We're going to do this. We're going to make it happen. We can do this. I leave my little part of the program here with a, a, another corporate slogan, company slogan. Uh, when I first moved to Austin in 76, there was a little movie company there. Two big guys with a truck, basically, uh, Skeeter and Booker, I think their names were. Uh, and, uh, and they, but they had a small outfit, but a, but a really sassy attitude. They thought we could get it done. Uh, and they had a ad, ad slogan that uh, was actually in the Yellow Ages at that time, uh, and it said, uh, if we can get it loose, we can move it. <laughs> That's what we're talking about doing, right? Get it loose at the grassroots level, and people will move it for themselves. Thank you very much for what you're doing.